Hello everybody, Rich here, back for another Minecraft ship tutorial, and this is part one of my RMS Campania tutorial. Uh, today's focus, of course, is the ship's draft, which will be the red section, and uh, we shall crack on with that in just a moment. But uh, before we start, we'll have a quick look around the build that we're going to be building over the next few days. So it's, uh, yeah, the RMS Campania, or the RMS Campania, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Maybe it's both of those names, maybe we don't care, but uh, I'm going with Campania. And it's a Cunard ship from, I think, 18, is it 1890 or 1899? Maybe it's 1900, I can't remember. But it's an old ship nonetheless. And, uh, yeah, it don't look too bad. So it's, uh, this is what we've come up, well, what we're going to be building. Uh, the ship's full length is 325 blocks long. It is 35 blocks wide. And the keel is 301 blocks long. So I've, I've already laid the keel over there. So that is 301 blocks in length. Uh, depending on why you can make it any colour you want, but I've used grey wool. And uh, we shall build around that. So, yeah. Uh, so the red, uh, yeah, the red section of the ship that we're going to be building first is 14 blocks high. So when you're going to be laying the keel, you're going to lay that on the 13th block below the water. So that's if you're building it on water. So, uh, yeah, build the keel on the 13th block below the surface and uh, everything should be fine so yeah that's the campania or campania or whatever you want to call it uh, what we're going to be building there so that is our task for the next few days so yeah part one will be the red section part two will be the black section and then anything after that will be a bonus so we're going to fly over here to our keel the keel is already laid like I say it is 301 blocks long this keel and uh, everything's symmetrical on the ship, so everything on the left of the keel is the same on the right. So, yeah, so what I'm going to do, as per usual, I should use world edit when I build. So I'm going to build everything on the left, or build most on the left, and then copy it to the right. I'm only doing that to save time because you don't want to see me build two things over and over again. So, so, yeah, so I'm just going to build left and then copy it to the right. So there we go. All right, so what we're going to do now is start building on the keel. So I'm going to remove this sign here, which says 301. So the keel is 300, 301 blocks long. So we're going to start on the fifth block of the keel. So one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to build five. One, two, three, four, five. And then six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then five. One, two, three, four, five. And then eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, and then seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then eight again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then eleven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then eleven again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then fourteen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I just measure that to make sure it is 14. And yeah, that's 14. And then after that 14, you want uh, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So here we are. There's the first few rows done from 0 to whatever. So that's the, that's the row of 16 there. And then, like I say, you just want to build the same thing on the other side of the keel, <clears throat> and that will create the uh, first front, well, the front half of the draft. Uh, so after this row of 16, you're, you're going to want to build a line of 85. So I shall build it freehand and measure it as I go along. So that's block one, and I want to build it 85 blocks long. So I shall, like I say, I'll do it freehand and measure it as I go along, because otherwise I'm just going to be sort of screwing it up as I go along. So I'll go all the way down. And measure that. That is 74. So a few more blocks, and that is now 86. So I've gone over by one, so that should be 85. And there we go. So that's 85 blocks long there. So you can see it's a long line there. And so what we're going to do now is curve back in towards the keel again. So after the 85, you want to build 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
and then 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 5 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And there we go. And then you should have 5 blocks of the keel exposed at the end. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep. 5 blocks of keel exposed there. And as I say, you just want to do the same thing on the other side of the keel. So you'll have uh, sort of a bottom of a boat shape. And uh, that's half of it done there. So before I copy it to the other side, there's a little bit more detail we've got to add. So what we're going to do is move back over to the 85 the line of 85 here and on the last block of that 85 which is here we're going to add two blocks out like so so on top you add two blocks out like that and then on the front of that you're going to build forward 16 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 like so and then two again on top like that so that makes the ship slightly wider so that will increase the ship to its full width of uh, 35 when you do it on both sides so there we go so it should it should in total be 17 red this side and 17 red that side in the keel down the middle and make it 35 so well that's the back end <clears throat> and I'm going to fly to the front end of the 85 now sorry at the front of the 85 and on the front you want to add two out again and then you want to behind that you want to build back eight so one two three four five six seven eight and then on top build two out again like so and it should look something like that. And then from that top row of two, you're going to build back to the top row of two at the back end there. So build all the way back to the back end, connected to the other row of two. And there we go, that's connected there. And then do the same on the row below. So we'll go back down to where that row of two sticks out. And we're just going to connect the bottom line back to front. Or front to back, whichever way you want to go. And up to there, there we go. So that's all connected there. And it's basically, it just makes the ship slightly wider, but also creating a sort of curve in the hull, if you like. So it's not brilliant, but you know, it, it will do for what it is. So what I'm going to do now, I shall copy this to the other side now, so we get the uh, base plate of the ship done. <clears throat> and uh, we shall move on from there. So just quickly fly over to here and build one, two, three up and then copy from that point and then copy it down to the front end, flip it, paste it, done and that'll be both sides of the plate done. So I fly down to the front end, <coughs> excuse me, down to the tip here and then we use copy, flip to the right or left whichever way and then paste. And there we go, that's both sides done. So that's, that's how it should look when you've built both sides. And uh, it don't look too bad. So that is the base plate of our ship, or the hull if you like. Nothing really special, but it's there nonetheless. So what we're going to do is fly back down to the tip of the keel, or tip of the bow at the front of the ship. And we're going to start adding signs. Now if you're familiar with previous builds, then you know how I'm going to do this. I'm going to put on the centre here, on the keel, on the front of the keel, I'm going to put zero. And I'm going to put one to... 1 to 17 out, out, out each side, so 0 in the middle, and then 1, 2, and then 3, f uh, 4, and then 5, all the way out to 17, so that's 6 there, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 down here, 16 up there, and then 17 lastly up here. So that is all 17 sections labelled. So do the same thing on both sides. This is basically, uh, it just makes uh, building a lot easier so because I, I build each section in order you know so I start at zero and work my way up to 17 it's just a numbering section a numbering way of doing things 
and uh, it just makes life a bit difficult. So I'm just going to copy this to the other side. And there we go, I've got 1 to 17 out that side as well. So like I say, it's uh, it's the way I build things. I'll start at 0, work my way out to 17. And if you ever make a mistake, or if I make a mistake, I can go back to that numbered section and uh, go from there. So that is that. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to do a quick jump cut while I uh, get my notes ready. And then we'll move on to the next phase. So back in a moment. Okay, back again. What I've done now, I've also labelled the stern of the ship as well, the back end. I've also labelled from 0 to 17 from the back of the ship all the way out to the uh, outside as well. So it's, it's 0 to 17 on the back rows as well. So that's that. So what we're going to do, fly back to the front end and we'll start building our hull upwards. So uh, this going to be exciting as as ever. Uh, if you're wondering what that ship over there is, that is the Empress of Britain, but I have not finished that yet. So that is something for the future. And uh, before I start, as per usual, if you're going to be building this as part of a uh, video or downloadable project or a conversion to From the Depths, which have some people have been doing, uh, don't forget to leave credit for the design. Um, you know, credit me for the design, and that's uh, what I asked for, really. Um, yeah, that's all right. Anyway, so what we're going to do is build now. So we'll start from zero and work our way up to 17. So, and remember, everything that's on the left is the same on the right. So there we go. So right, so from zero, we're going to start with forward three, one, two, three. And three, one, two, three, and then two, and two, and then up two, and then up three, one, two, three, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three. And that should be 14 in total, 14 height in total, including the keel. So I just measure that. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's fine. So that's 14 in height for the red. Right, so that's section zero done. So I move on to section one, and I've got to adjust my notes as we go. So for section one, we want to go forward four, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three, three again, one, two, three, and then two, and two, and then up two, and then up three, one, two, three, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then two, one, two, there. Anyway, so that's section one. Now we're on to section two. And to change my notes again. So for section two, we want to go forward five, one, two, three, four, five, and then three, one, two, three, three again, one, two, three, and then two, and two, and then up two, and then up three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then two, one, two. And there we go, that's the same height again. And then we move on to section number three. Adjust my notes again. So for section three, we want to go forward six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then three, one, two, three, three again, one, two, three. And then three rows of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two. And then up two. And then up three, one, two, three, four, one, two, two, three, four. And then one on the end there, like so. And then we move on to section four. And change my notes again. <clears throat> Section four, we go forward five, one, two, three, four, five, and then three, one, two, three, three again, one, two, three, three again, one, two, three, and then three rows of two, so one, two, one, two, one, two, and then up two, and then up three, one, two, three, three again, one, two, three, and one, like so, and making sure they're the same height all the way along, that's fine. And now we're on to number five, section five. We want to go forward seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then four. One, two, three, four. And then three. One, two, three. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Six rows of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. So that was six rows of two like that. And then up two. And then up three. One, two, three. And then one on the end like so and then we up. And gradually the hull is sort of changing shape as we go along. Uh, so now we move on to section number six and change my notes again. Section six I want to go forward seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then four. One, two, three, four. Four again. One, two, three, four. And then two rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then four rows of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then up two, and then up three, one, two, three, and one, like so. And that's the same height again. Now we're on to section seven, and to change my notes. So for section seven, we want to go forward eight, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then five, one, two, three, four, five, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then uh, four rows of three, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then two rows of two, one, two, one, two, and then up two, up three, one, two, three, and one, like so. That's the same height again, that's fine. Now we're on to <coughs> section number eight. Change my notes again. So for number eight, we want forward eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then five. One, two, three, four, five. And then two rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then four rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then three rows of two. <coughs> One, two, one, two, one, two, and then up two and one. And there we go, that's the same height again. And it's getting a bit more leveled out, so it's more coming more flat as we go along. All right, now we're on to section nine. <coughs> and for section nine, we want to go forward nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then four, one, two, three, four, and then four. Uh, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then two rows of four. One, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then four rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, and then two rows of two. One, two, one, two, and then up two, and then one again. And then we have that. It's the same again. And you can see it's getting more flat as we go along. I just look for, look at it from the front and see how it's. Uh, looking curving along you see it's sort of giving it a the illusion of a bow shape that's fine now we're on to number 10 Let's just get down to number 10 and adjust my notes again so for number 10 we want forward 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then three rows of five 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 that was three rows of five, wasn't it? Yeah. And then uh, two rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then four rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then uh, one row of two. One, two. And then up two. One, two. And one. And there we go. Same height again. That's fine. Now we're on to uh, number 11. And change my notes again. Ooh, hang on. Number 11. We want to go forward 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 4 rows of 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 1 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 4 rows of 5 like that. And then a row of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then two rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then two rows of two. One, two, one, two. And then up two. And one. Like so. And there we are. Same height again. And it's getting a bit more flat as we go along. Anyway, now we move on to number 12. Number 12, number 12. Number 12, we go forward 11 again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then three rows of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then two rows of no three three rows of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> one, two, three, four, five. And then a row of four. One, two, three, four. A row of three. One, two, three. Two rows of two. One, two, one, two. And then up two. One, two, and one. There we go, that's that section there. Now we move on to number 13, everyone's favourite, number 13. And change my notes again. So for number 13, we want forward 14. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then uh, five rows of six. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. One two three four five six, one two three four five six, and then a row of five. One two three four five, a row of four. One two three four, 
two rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two rows of two, one, two, one, two, and then one on the top like so, and that's the same height again. That's fine. <coughs> Excuse me. And now move on to number 14. Not quite as everyone's favorite, or not quite as uh, popular as number 13, but there we go. Right, so number 14, we want to go forward 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then four rows of seven. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then six. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then five. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then four. 1, 2, 3, 4. Two rows of three. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and then 3 rows of 2, so 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, and that's the same height again, that's fine. There we are, and now we move on to number 15, which is down here, and if, as you've got these two, this block here, you can remove that one and start counting for a scratch, from scratch at number 15. So for number 15, we want 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then two rows of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three rows of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then a row of five. One, two, three, four, five. A row of four. One, two, three, four. Three rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then two rows of two. One, two, one, two. And that's the same height again, and that's fine. Now we move on to number 16, which is one block higher than the rest because of the way the curve of the hull is. And for number 16, we want forward 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then three rows of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then two rows of five, one, two, three, four, five, one, one, two, three, four, five. And then four, one, two, three, four. Two rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then two rows of two, one, two, one, two. And that is the same height again as all the other sections, that's fine. And then we move on lastly to number 17, which is at the very outside edge. So for number 17, we want, hang on, change my notes first. We want 11, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 again, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 2 rows of 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 rows of 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and then 2 rows of 2. One two and one two, and there we go. That's all the uh, front sections of the hull done there. Remember, you do the same thing on the other side as well. So everything that's on the left, you do the same on the right. I'll come back and do the back end in a minute, but we'll just sort out the front end first. So the front end, when it's all done, should look something like that. You got sort of a a rib cage sort of thing, and it looks something like that. So as before, if you're familiar with my tutorials, you go on the inside now and start filling in the gaps. And this is a very mundane job, but it needs doing. So we'll start just filling in the gaps between each section of the hull. And I'll do the first few sections and then I'll do a jump cut and everything will be fine. Because uh, it does take a while when you're doing this uh, on camera. And I'll do the next row as well. I do the like I said, I do the first few rows and then just jump cut and do the one more. <coughs> and there we go. There's the first few sections done. As you can see, the hull is starting to take shape, and it should look something like that. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a quick jump cut while I uh, uh, sort out the rest, and then we'll move on to the back end of the ship. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. I've filled in all the gaps in the uh, structure of the hull, and it should look something like that. At least one side does anyway, and uh, doesn't look too bad. 
Uh, I just need to do the same on the other side now, so I shall use the uh, copy paste again to get both sides out of the way. So I shall copy to there, so uh, copy, flip, and then paste. <clears throat> and there we are, both sides are done. And that is the front half of the draft done. And it should look something like that from the front. Doesn't look too bad, it kind of looks like uh, well, the bow of a ship. So anyway, that is the uh, front half done. So what we're going to do now is move down to the back end and do kind of the same thing again, but uh, slightly different. Oh, it's slightly different, slightly less curvy. Uh, so I'll start at zero again on the stern, <coughs> and then we'll move our way forward or back, whichever way. So as before, <coughs> I'll get to the zero on the back, and then we'll start. So I'll get my notes ready first because I've not got them prepared. So for what we're going to do, start at zero, and on zero we're going to start by building directly upwards, 13 up. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There we go. So that is section zero. And then for section one we want to go forward or back, whichever way. Whenever I say forward I mean back, okay, it just makes it easy for me to say. So on section one we want to go forward uh, 3, 1, 2, 3, and then 2, 1, 2. And then up 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And there we are. Now, this section here, if I just recall, go back to section 0, and this will be where the rudder attaches. So, on the back of the ship, the rudder will attach to the straight edge of 0. And you can see it over there on the prototype. So, that's where the rudder will go. Anyway, so that's 0 and 1 done. Now, move on to section 2. I'll get my notes ready. So, for section 2, we want to go forward 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 2, 1, 2. And then up seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then five. One, two, three, four, five. And there we go. That's that one there. Now we're on to section three. <coughs> Just my notes again. So we're on to section three, we want to go forward five. One, two, three, four, five. And then two and two. And then up seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then four. One, two, three, four. Like so. And then we move on to section four. And we want to build forward five. One, two, three, four, five. And then two rows of two. One, two, one, two. And then up two. One, two. And then seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then three. One, two, three. And there we go. That's that one there. Making sure they're all the same height, so that's fine. And now we're on to section five. <clears throat> section five we want to go forward five one two three four five and then two rows of two one two one two and then up two and then up four one two three four up five one two three four five and then two one two and there we go same same height again now we're on to number six number six number six number six we want oh, no, it's just falling over Right, number six, we want to go forward seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then two rows of two. One, two, one, two. And then up two. And then up three. One, two, three. Up five. One, two, three, four, five. And then three. One, two, three. And there we go, same height again. Now we're on to section seven. Section seven, we want forward six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then three. One, two, three. And then two. One, two. Up two, up four, one, two, two, three, four, four again, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three, and there we go. Now we're on to number eight. Change my notes again. Number eight, we want forward eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then two rows of two, one, two, one, two, up two, one, two, and then three, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four, and four again. One, two, three, four. Same height again, that's fine. <clears throat> now we're on to number nine. And we want forward six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then three, one, two, three. Two rows of two. One, two, one, two. And then up two, one, two. And then up three, one, two, three. Up four, one, two, three, four. And then three, one, two, three. And there we go, same height again. Now we're on to number 10. So we're getting there, we're getting along quite nicely. Number 10, we want forward eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then three, one, two, three. And then four rows of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then up two, 
and then up three, one, two, three, up four, one, two, three, three, four, and then one, like so. That's that one. <coughs> now we're on to number 11. We want to go forward eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then three rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then two rows of two, one, two, one, two, up two, and then up three, one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, four, and there we go. Now we're on to number 12, and we want forward 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then four rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then two rows of two, one, two, one, one, two, and then up two, one, two, up three, one, two, three, and three again, one, two, three. <clears throat> and it's the same height again. And now we're on to number 13. I'll change my notes again. So for number 13, we want forward 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then three rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then row of three, one, two, three. And then two rows of two, one, two, one, one, two. And then up two. And then up three, one, two, three, and three again, one, two, three. And it's the same height again. <clears throat> now we move on to number 14. We want. Uh, forward nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then three rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. No, that's no, well, three rows of four, sorry, is it nine, four, four, four? Apologies there. And then we want uh, two rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then three rows of two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Up two, one, two, up three, one, two, three, and one. Like so, and then we are, it's the same height again. On to number 15. So once again, you remove this block here, and we'll start counting from that block, or from where the block was. So on number 15, we want 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then three rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then three rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Three rows of two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then up two, and then two, one, two. And it should look something like that. That's the same height, that's fine. Now we're on to number 16. And adjust my notes again. So for number 16, we want uh, forward five, one, two, three, four, five. And then two rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Three rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then four rows of two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then up two and one, like so. And that is the same height as the rest, that's fine. And then lastly, we're on to <coughs> number 17. And change my notes again. So for number 17, we want forward five, one, two, three, four, five, five again, one, two, three, four, five, and then two rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, uh, three rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, and then three rows of two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and one on the top like so, and that's the same height as the rest, and the stern of the ship, the back end should look something like that so that's then once again we've got the rib cage effect going on again and so <clears throat> what we do again we go on the inside and just fill in all the gaps so I'll do the first few as before and everything should be hunky-dory and it's another one of those mundane jobs but the finished article does look quite good and uh, as before though, if you're going to be building this on your own, then uh, I would recommend using it you know, well, building it on a PC. Uh, but if you're building it on a console, I'd recommend building it in a team, because something like this, especially a ship the size of Titanic and Britannic over there, they're quite large and quite tedious to build. So if you're building it on your own, I'd recommend get a team of people to help you, because it's going to be a killer. 
But there are people out there who have uh, succeeded in building it on their own, and well done to them. I could not do that. Anyway, that's the first few sections of the stern filled in, <clears throat> and it should look something like that. So as before, I'm going to do a quick jump cut while I fill in the rest, and then we'll uh, crack on with the next step. So um, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So I've filled in all the gaps of the stern, and now the back end of the ship should look something like this. Uh, basically the same as the front, and uh, it shouldn't look too bad. So that is that section done there. Uh, I haven't done the other side yet, of course, so... Uh, I'll worry about that in a minute, but before I copy it to the other side, I've just got to fill in the gap now between the front end and the back end. So you've got this huge panel basically missing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to straighten off the edges and use <laughs> weld edit for the rest. So it's all uh, lots of red blocks that uh, fill in this section. So I'll just try and straighten off the edges as much as I can. It's so a problem with it being the outside edge of the ship. There's a lot of uh, long edges that need straightening off. So uh, yeah, it's, it's easy, pretty easier doing it all by hand, but uh, yeah, I'm just using well I did it for the uh, bits I can. So uh, what's that? Set uh, two five one colon fourteen. That's that one, and then down to the next row. Same there, and then from this straight edge at the back all the way forward to do the same thing there. So down to this stump down here, and fill in the side. And there we go. Oh, big side wall. And uh, I should try and do the same thing over here, so uh, bear with me while I sort this out. There are other tools I could use to do it, but I never got them to work properly, so I'm just. There's a combination of freehand and the set tool, so. Yeah, it's, I'm still a bit primitive in uh, the world of Minecraft. You can sort of tell that. Uh, but yeah, we are getting there. And got up two more sections to go, so I'll do it freehand. Well, not freehand, but weld edit it, and to that, and there we go. That's the uh, outside edge all filled in. So that's the side wall done uh, on that side, and it should look sort of like that. And uh, what I'll do now, I'll quickly copy it to the other side, and uh, should have both sides done. So it should look when it's done like a big bathtub or a horse trough, whatever you want to call it. It will look like that, <coughs> a big red one. But anyway, to copy it down to the back end here and we should use the copy flip to the right and then paste and there we go that's both sides done and we now have a completed well almost completed a draft of the ship it's just a shame if you're building this on water most of this will be underwater but uh, no big deal and uh, there we go so that is the uh, front end over there done the back end down here done and the middle done so left, what's left to do now is just to fill in the floor which is once again all red blocks and uh, both sides of the kill just filling with red. So I should use the fill uh, 251 colon 14 by 20 bazillion. And there we go, that's one side. And lastly, the other side. And there we go, that's both sides of the uh, draft all filled in. And that is that job done there. So that is part one pretty much done. So for part two, when we come back, it will be for the black section of the hull. Uh, slightly different to the previous ship, which was the Oceanic, but I will leave you into a, or well, tell you a little secret that the, the hull of the uh, the Campania over there is basically the Oceanic's, but it's been shortened and had bits cut out of it, so it's sort of a it's sort of a cut and paste, but not 100%. But uh, there are a few minor changes, but that's no big deal. Uh, but yeah, so we'll, the next part will be focusing on the black section of the hull. You got that little indentation in there, which will also be sorted out. Uh, the front end, back end, in the middle, of course. So that would be for part two. We'll just fly over to the to the uh, the uh, black section, or to, or to the prototype, sort of give you an idea. Uh, so you've got this uh, black section to do. They'll also pro probably do the main deck as well, which would be the top deck of the main structure of the hull. And uh, yeah, and then we've got this uh, indented section here, which is basically just a corridor, really. But uh, that would be uh, for the next part in part two, and also the stern as well, which is all the way down there. Uh, the stern is always the complicated part, but uh, we'll get through it, no big deal. Uh, it's the uh, bridge section which I'm worried about because it's sort of suspended on the uh, pillars. Uh, but like I say, we'll get through it. We've, no, we've not uh, do, abandoned a tutorial yet. I've deleted many, but not abandoned them. But uh, hey, there we go. So uh, that will be for part two. So, yep, yeah, sandwich, sandwiched between the uh, uh, the uh, Campania and the Empress of Britain, we've got the uh, the draft which is done. And also over here, I've got the beginnings of the Oceanos. 
no guarantee that I'm going to finish that one, but we'll see. That's the uh, Oceanos over there. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that is uh, all that done. So this is part one over and done with. Like I say, part two will be the uh, black section, so we'll come back to that. So this is Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing, and I shall return in part two. So um, yeah, bye for now.